I think it's a good thing that I woke up on time this morning. Ooh, breaking dawn. First things first, I boiled some water for my coffee. Then I'm gonna fry some hot dog for breakfast. Even at this early hour, I can still feel the rush. To the point that I didn't remember how much sugar did I put on my coffee. Fireball. Going back to the hot dogs. I fried them, I eat them. It was a terribly cold morning. And taking a bath is against my will. Oh god, that's cold. Fireball. This feels warm. So I brushed my teeth and got myself prepared. Let's go. I swear to god I got up too early. The wind is so cold. The lights aren't even turned off yet. See that? Ooh, chickens. The sunrise is beautiful. But the highway is the worst. Oh my god, it's cold, it's cold, the wind is cold! I can use some warm hags right now. Shut up. Apparently I was really early. I can't even see other students outside. Can I get my early bird award right now? Do you know that strange feeling when you stare at sunsets or sunrise? That's how I feel right now. Oh hello there, 100 year old tree. I pulled that tree and ring. Finally, I'm inside the school. It's a good thing we have morning exercises to warm us up. Look at these students. They're probably dancing trailer by Michael Jackson. Oh, the heart decorations. January came so fast. Good morning, man. I'm glad our good teacher Mama Rea taught us to greet our teachers. Good morning, man. And here comes the classroom. Wait, where's Gildu? Oh my god, of course! She's late again. Haha. <laughs> Back in our class, especially in our table, everyone is eating. Mga patay gutom kasi kami. Charot. See, she's eating. Let's see who else makes lamon lamon in our table. See? Everyone's sitting. Oh my god, that's Daisy. I know, I know, she look like that villain character who can kill you outside the classroom. But don't worry, she's harmless, so we're cool. Ow! I take that back. Speaking of villain, that look like a villain. You know that old horror movie, The Grudge? Oh. Gosh, even her giggle gives me chills. Now it's just getting weird. So even though I already know, I'm gonna ask her what she's doing. I guess Madel's texting her boyfriend again. Erica here is probably suspecting her boyfriend's unfaithfulness again. And here's Angelica preparing her own fashion show again. This is our class president, she's very busy. 
those creatures are my classmates and those creatures are the ABM students so let me show you our ceiling look at that art that is so lit bro oh literally you just press the switch and the lights turns on now what do we have here who is this hmm who are you who is this I don't really recognize her mm. nah never mind I don't care this is Madeline Caldre. Uh, she gains. I lost my train of thought. And we're back on Gilvelin Munato. She's still not done with her work. She's been doing that for three weeks now. So it's my turn to do the work now. So this task is for our entrepreneurship subject, and I really like that subject because starting your own business as an entrepreneur can be one of the most rewarding experiences that life offers right it is also important to keep a certain level of perspective about this process although rare few can experience immediate success with their efforts it is more accurate to describe entrepreneurship as planting of a, of a seed you know you plant the seed on the ground you take care of it then you get the idea everyone knows how trees grow you know so yeah entrepreneurship learning entrepreneurship is really cool and it's a good wait, wait something's wrong here I realized that what a person is all depends on his or her student life. A uh, student life is of all types. A person faces all types of situations or his or her student life, sweet, sour, every type of situations and these memories remain with him or her throughout the life of that person the human index or you may say that character of a human is dependent on his student life a student must have discipline in his life he should be obedient, always go to school in proper uniform but there are some problems also faced by the students in his or her life one of the most common problem is students' unrest. Today there is a wave of unrest among the students. Not a single day passes without the news of the strike opening of national property. Those in authority must go into the causes of unrest and see if some corrective steps can be taken to save the situation. The most important reason of this is the rest, the spirit of the age. Another important cause of student unrest is the interference of political parties in the educational institutions. I don't need to elaborate. That's what I simply observe around me and in the news. Now, looking at this class, looking at my classmates, I believe there should be a proposal to involve the students in the administration of colleges universities and various other fields of academic and co-curricular activities without political handprints but after this old student life is very best a person learned most of the things in his or her life in this stage of life the friends he made the fun he made everything done by his life remains with that person throughout his life thus we can say that the life of a student that my life as a student is the best part of my life wait wait this is a entrepreneurship class and I just had a reflection of how my student life is awesome 
Man, she never stops eating. Look at that. I'm not against it though. I just wanted to eat too. Oh, hey Gilgulin, can I have some alcohol? <coughs> I don't want to catch some virus. <coughs> oh, I think I already did. So it's lunch break and it's time to walk under the scorching heat of the sun. We will be walking for about 2 minutes and we will be walking with all these students who are also going to have their lunch on the same canteen and I'm just really hungry right now I can't think of anything else oh so dusty I think some dust got into my eye I bought some guineling for lunch, it is a Filipino dish, and Gilvin bought estepado. Gilvin here requested me to grab her some silverwares which are available here in the canteen but I'm a, I'm a bit skeptic on the sanitation because they're just uh, soaked in water see that? so let's have some lunch first I can't speak when my mouth is full you know So after having lunch, we are going to take a walk to the adjacent market so that we can buy our uh, raw materials and supplies, which were hot dogs and fish balls, for our business. And despite the heat, despite the sun, we have to do this. It's for our grade. This is why we are here in school to learn, and this is part of learning.
tayong pack ng pickles. Grade 10. Ay, sige. Up. Isa lang. Up. After buying some supplies, we'll be heading straight to our school and... Wait, we forgot to buy something. We'll be going back. So, while buying some plastic cups, I noticed the familiar face of the vendor. She kinda look like someone I know. Or is it just the vegetables? No. She really look like someone I know. Am I having a deja vu? Did this happen to me before? Things are... Things felt so familiar now. Forget it. We have to go straight to school now. We're gonna be late. I think I just had too much MSG bed scene that I'm already hallucinating. Or thinking weird things. This morning, I was really complaining about the cold wind. And now, it's so hot. It's really hot. And I can't help but complain again. I know that we are experiencing these things because of our irresponsible actions. That's why our environment is suffering and we are suffering with it. Maybe we just deserve this. We deserve a very cold morning and a very hot afternoon. We were planning to go to the LRMVS or the computer lab to search some stuff. But we heard that it is unavailable, so we just sat on the bench. Wait, am I holding this umbrella all this time? Why is it so hot? Wow. They really put some effort making these Valentine's decorations. They even filled the offices with these things. And even the stage is full of cupids and hearts. How much more romantic could we be than to change the whole calendar to start your year off with the warm and lovely month of February? The month to celebrate Valentine's Day. Doesn't it have a more lively and adventurous spirit than poor old January? Already exhausted from the whole frenetic month of December, with its overindulging and overspending, February arrives, fresh with new energy and trusted old resolutions. Take note of February 14, and remember that love is even more than an emotion shared by lovers. Remember too, that when you were given the gift of love, it was not a measure full to be rationed out. 
You can love more and more people all the time. More children, more brothers and sisters, more aunties and uncles, more friends. And you don't have to take away love from one person to give to another. Love is the one emotion that goes on and on, regenerating itself. This is the miracle of love. It is yours to give freely and abundantly. So this Valentine's Day, while you will naturally spend as lavishly as you can on one particular romantic love of your life, you can also spread your generosity to embrace those who don't have the luxury of family or friends who can share their gift of love. Here in Lipay National High School, I can already feel it. These decorations are telling me, oh, I don't usually talk to myself about a particular holiday, but that was awesome. Now I can't take my eyes off from these hearts. Wait. What was that all about? It made me feel something. It made me feel chaos. It made me feel uncomfortable. It reminds me of selling fish ball. Yeah, that's how it felt. The rush. The pressure. The intense feeling when you are selling fish ball. It's not just the noise of the students. It's not just the heat that that's radiating in your hand while you are cooking. It is the feeling of pressure. That intense feeling of rush. It's really uncomfortable because the noise of the students, the pressure, the radiation of the heat from the stove, the claustrophobic ambience they give you. It felt like World War Z, Lipay National High School Edition. But then again, this is a part of the learning. This is a project for great sake. It may be uncomfortable, but it will never be a reason for us to stop. We will do everything we can to get what we want. And I will do everything I can to sell all these products. Later that day, I witnessed the intense evaluation of our classroom and I can say it all went good, it all went just fine uh, compared to what we expected and I was really impressed that it turned out that way. This just proves to me that our school teaches us to be more responsible and more disciplined. I believe school is one of the most important things in our lives. If we are not educated, then we do not have the skills needed to function in everyday society. Schools not only help students learn desired concepts and skills, but it also allows students to interact with other students socially, academically, and emotionally. Waking up early in the morning to go to your 7 a.m. class can be a pain. You would rather stay in bed and listen to the latest hits on your top notch Bluetooth headphones, which, according to Dextro Ojo, is something that everybody needs to fully enjoy music, but do you realize that education can play a major role in your quest to achieve your dreams in life? I can say that this moment in our class when we are about to go home is the most chaotic time of the day because we are cleaning, we are preparing our stuff, we are talking to each other, we are preparing ourselves and we just rush on different things before we go home. It's just chaotic but still if you have an interest that you want to be really good at and you need a place where you can harness it effectively. Even with this kind of chaos, it will never change the fact that the school is a really important thing in our life. It has this really crucial impact to us as students. I realized that school is much more fun if you have friends to hang out with. These people share the same interest as you, have lunch with you, laugh with you, study with you, walk home with you, 
and they are always there to help you out if you have problems in academics or even life. If going home is the most chaotic moment in our school, then heading home is the best moment for me. It is the spring after the winter. It is the time where I can relax and have a deep breath, thinking that today was another mission accomplished. And most of all, it is the time where I can witness the beautiful sun. I gotta cherish this moment because after this I have a lot of work we have the assignments, the projects, the paperwork and the other house tasks and that's what student life is 